Okay, I am very excited for this video and I feel like a lot of you have been excited for this video too based on our previous video where we covered what is an AI agent. And if you didn't watch that, we'll cover in this video at a very high level what is an AI agent. But if you're at that level, you still need to know a bit more, go check out that past video. Because in this video, we are going to be building an AI agent. And I've been playing around with this for a while, testing it out. And it's interesting though, when I was thinking about making this video in the comments from the previous AI agent video, there were a lot of people who wanted to build without code Code, and then equally as many people who wanted to build with code. So I thought, how can I do this? Do I make two videos, which I still can do? Let me know in the comments if you want another one. Let's use what we have available, which is AI. So in this video, we are going to be using AI to build an AI agent, which is pretty cool. So it does require some code, but even if you are a non-programmer, non-coder, you can still do this because we're using AI to generate the code. We're going to use Cursor AI for this project. You know I love Cursor AI. It's such a great way to, to build anything really where it's like, for people who are not familiar with Cursor AI, well, you need to get familiar. I think it went from 1 million to 100 million in um, raising raising money or, or where it's currently at in valuation anyways in one year. It's wild. It's this platform essentially, it's an IDE, where you can you know build regular coding things, but you can also use their AI to help build for you. So anyways, that's me trying to explain it to someone who doesn't, maybe isn't familiar with an IDE. But let's go back to what is an AI agent. An AI agent is an autonomous intelligent system that can perform tasks on its own. Not only though can it perform tasks on its own, but a huge part of it is it gets better over time. So it's learning consistently as it's going. So I thought it'd be fun in this video to make an AI agent that we play a game against because naturally it's going to learn what we are doing, our moves and get better over time to be more competitive. Other AI agents though that are very popular would include things such as customer service agents or um, even I think Netflix, Netflix would be considered an, is Netflix considered an AI agent? Is Netflix, because it gets smarter over time and it customizes to your results. Is Netflix does? Yeah, I think so. Okay, I need to look into that more, but I believe it would be, but I don't wanna say something that's not true. Anyway, in this video, we are going to be building our own AI agent, something that we know for sure is an AI agent. So let's get started. Let me share my screen here. Okay, you can see here, all I have done thus far is create an empty folder which resides on my desktop called Game AI Agent. And you can do this, you can make a folder anywhere you want. Then ensure you have downloaded Cursor AI. Pause this video here, go download it if you haven't. Once you have it downloaded though, open your empty project in Cursor AI and you'll see what I see. To start with though, before we get into using AI, we are going to be using Python to build this AI agent. So let's just make a simple Python file. There we go. Now what you are going to do, I'm on a Mac as you probably, I think you can see, I don't know. Um, <laughs> it's not sponsored by Apple or anything. Um, what you're going to do if you're on a Mac, you're gonna go Command L. Now if you're on Windows, please search up what the shortcut is, but what it will do is it will open up the composer, which you can see on the right. This is like your chat GPT. In fact, I believe it's actually powered by one, I don't know which one, but one of, I think GPT-4 maybe, uh, of OpenAI's models. So it's like you're speaking to chat GPT. In this composer, let's start by prompting it to let it know what we want to build. I want to build an AI agent using Python and any packages necessary. I would like the AI agent to play a game of, which game should we play? Rock, paper, scissors with me and it gets smarter over time as it observes my choices. Yeah, I like that. I think that's a good prompt. Okay, now here we go. I'll help you create an AI agent that plays rock, paper, scissors and learns from the player's patterns using a simple ML approach. We'll use Python's built-in random module and NumPy for handling probabilities and learning. Let's go use the Markov chain to learn from the, pre the player's previous moves. So take what you did and then continue learning. Let's go through the code quickly here. You can see there's a lot of comments. So if you're not a coder, we have done no code thus far. Um, and if you are a coder, you'll understand this code probably. So there's quite a bit there. You can see down here what it says what it's doing. This implementation includes using a tra transition matrix to track the probabilities, learns from player patterns, 
makes counterintuitives. Okay, I was just, I know this because I was playing around with it before this video, but I had trouble creating an actual, like a true AI agent. So let me see, is this a true AI agent? No, exactly. Limited learning, no deep learning. Modern AI typically involves neural networks. If you'd like to create a more true AI agent, we could implement a solution using deep reinforcement learning. Here's what it would look like using a simple neural network. That's pretty cool. So you can see now we're getting into using other packages up here and it's getting a bit more intense. Like this will give us an actual AI agent, which is what we want. I don't know why, I guess because AI is like humans and it takes the easy way out. Um, and then the initial one does not, is not a true AI agent. So this is because I've done this before and I was like, this is not an AI agent that I'm building. Like, what are you doing? So I know to actually ask, is this an agent? So let's go ahead now that we have an actual agent here, apply the code, accept the file. Now at this point you can see we need to install some packages here. So what I like to do is run a virtual environment and what I'm going to do here is open up my terminal and I don't think my screen's recording that portion, but if you're not familiar with Cursor AI, in the left hand corner, there'll be an option for terminal. And now you can see it down below here. Now what I'm going to do is I need to run a virtual environment on Mac, type in whatever computer you are on, show me the steps. Now if you know how to do this, it's super simple to do, but I'm just doing this so if you're not a coder, you can follow along as well. And just showing you how simple it is, even if you are a coder, but maybe you don't code in Python typically, to build something like this. All right, we can't think coders know everything, they don't. AI, it doesn't know everything either. Okay, so let's go here. I'm on Python 3 and it will prompt me. New environment has been created. Yes. Okay, so we've been created the new environment. Now let's activate it. Copy, paste. There we go. Perfect. Now it already did this for us, telling us what to do next, which is install the required packages. So let's go ahead and install these. <laughs> and then all our little squigglies should go away. Okay, you can see here that we have everything installed. Yes. Okay, I need to upgrade my pip version, which we will not do today, but we will do it. All right, so now you have two options. As it says here, you can just go, where is it? You can run your script by going python uh, main.py, which is our file here, or I just go right click, run python, run python in terminal. Now let's see, this is once again, literally just like seeing how it goes. Welcome to rock, paper, scissors. Okay, so this is the second part I don't love. And this is my fault, I did not prompt it properly because right now we are playing in the terminal. I don't wanna play in the terminal, I want a nice UI to play with. So let's go ahead and just quit this. You can just kill it. Now let's go back to our right-handed chat and go make so there is a UI on this game and also make it have uh, bars that show how likely it is that the AI thinks I will pick that option. So we can see how the AI agent is kind of working and thinking in real time, which is kind of cool. I don't know if I described that properly. Prompting is an art. I know people always like, you know, Oh, prompting, it's so easy. But the more you do, it's like Googling, especially when you're Googling technical things, it takes time. Okay, so let's see here, it's still going. Okay, okay, so this should work now to have a UI. Apply, accept file. Okay, I need to install more things. Um, oh yeah, could not find a version. Oh, I have to install it. Okay, can we do something similar without, um, oopsies, shoot. I'm just gonna pivot. We could, you know, um, trouble, Using Flask, what? No, just, uh, okay. Disregard. I don't like the path it's going down. Disregard, let's just do a 
Python UI, please, for this game. Let's see what it says. Yeah, let's just use Python or Pygame. Let's not get let's not get complex here right now. I don't feel like that today. And I'm sure you don't either. You're here to build an AI agent, not figure out installing packages, which are giving me grief. Okay, so there we go. Let's do terminal again. I exit out by accident. Okay, this is better. I love Pygame. It's so fun. It's so friendly. Okay, pip install Pygame. There we go. All right, let's see this in action. Probably won't be perfect, but this is only our second time running the code and this would have taken me forever to produce. Okay, so right now it's all equal, 33%. Only like 34, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Okay, so let's go scissors, AI, paper, you win, okay. Interesting. Ties, we're doing a lot of ties. So he, the AI agent, I was gonna call it a key. The AI agent is less likely to do paper, so let's try paper. So could I win if I always choose what it thinks is gonna be less? But wouldn't it get smarter? I guess because I'm cheating, because I can see what it's thinking. Okay, let's give it a little bit of time. Okay, this is pretty cool. Let's go back though, this is pretty simple. I'm gonna exit out of this. And I'm gonna say, what about this code makes it an AI agent? Like I want to understand it better because we haven't gone through the code really, so let's see. So first, neural network architecture. So this is the first uh, class right here. So what it is doing, it is using a deep neural network with three fully connected layers. So we can see here. The input layer processes the last three moves. Hidden layers learn patterns and output layers predict probabilities for the next move. That's really cool actually. Like we built this so quickly and I'm not saying we, I know AI built it. I get a lot of like, if I post a short video on Instagram, I'm like, we coded this. They're like, AI helped you code it. I'm like, yeah, like I'm, I'm saying that in the video. No one's denying that, but why would you deny it? AI isn't going anywhere. You might as well use it. All right, number two is experience replay. So this is deep RPS agent class. So this stores past experiences in memory, uses random sampling to avoid overfitting for recent moves, and learns from batches of past experience. That's really cool that we, we were able to get this running and this game. And I mean, if you start thinking about how you can build AI agents for, you know, chatbots or like, I mean, you could further, these are, this is through, I think, three prompts that we did. Imagine if we did, you know, 20 prompts, making the UI better, making the game better. It's incredible the things that you can do with this. It's really incredible. And then state representation. Converts game state into numerical format, uses one hot encoding for move representation. Let's go down to decision making. It uses the neural network to predict players' next move and make strategic counter moves based on predictions and updates probabilities based on learning. This is really cool. It does a lot and we've done so in probably under 10 minutes. So which was the goal of this video, to build something together from scratch using AI, making an AI agent. I mean, that's it's incredible. I feel like our work here is done. But I hope you don't stop at this point. If you are following along and you, you're right at this point, continue prompting it. See what else you can do. G get creative with what you can build. I mean, it's really exciting when you think about it. And especially because we're living in this time where you don't have to be this super coder to build some really incredible intelligent systems. That's enough of me rambling on for the day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you wanna see more code along videos with AI where it's, yeah, we're not writing the code from scratch. And in some of these videos, I know we go through the code even more so, but the purpose of this one was to see if we could get there with AI, building an AI agent, and that's exactly what we did. Very cool. Okay, have a wonderful day. I'm gonna go get some coffee and I'll see you all soon. Thanks everyone. Hit the subscribe button. Leave in the comments what you wanna see next. You know the drill.